Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new. Today's video is a clean with me marathon and if you're not too sure what a marathon is, I have compiled a few of my latest videos into one super long, super motivating video. So you can just go ahead and pop it up on your TV, your phone or your tablet and just clean it right along with me today. Do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and also leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. Hello guys, welcome back to another satisfying clean with me or welcome if you are brand new here. Today's video is packed with cleaning motivation as well as some decluttering just to get my house nice and clean and fresh ready for the day. So I'm just going to whiz around putting everything back where it belongs, doing the washing up, giving the sides a good wipe over and then also decluttering and organising certain areas of the house. So if you like that sort of thing, do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future uploads and let's just jump straight into it. So the first thing I wanted to get out of the way was the kitchen so I'm just going to whiz around putting everything back where it belongs and also putting away the washing up that I did the night before. I'm trying to keep on top of the washing up lately and I did do all of the dinner plates and everything the night before but there's still plates and bowls and cups and everything left because there's always stuff after I've washed up the night before so I'm just going to go ahead and get all of that washed up now so I can get it all put away and just declutter the whole kitchen. than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you I think I said enough you said you love for me something brand new you said this is something you would never do here we are in a car let me see who you are who you really are yeah don't need you here to say you're sorry Every 
So once I'd given everything a good wipe over and it was nice and fresh ready for the day, it was time to go ahead and put the washing up away. So I'm just going to go and dry that all up and get that put away so I can go in and clean the sink down and just declutter the kitchen and make it nice and fresh. sort out this cupboard for ages because all of these ones at the top we don't really use so I did go ahead and pick up a pack of four from B&M so I'm going to go ahead and wash those ones up clear out the top and just rearrange it a little bit have a bit of a declutter and see what I can do now we're watching it I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. Ooh, ooh, I feel like, ooh, ooh, I feel like demons in my mind, demons, demons in my mind. Ooh, ooh, it tastes like, ooh, ooh, it tastes like demons in my mind, demons pushing all my triggers. Struggling to come through We had a fire Now we watch it burn out Isn't it time, isn't it time we go Our separate ways Not enough time, not enough time I'm falling behind, falling behind I hate to separate my body and mind My body and mind Surprise, but I know I'm not over you. Keep missing our fights. Think I'm losing my mind, but I guess that's what love do. these are all the ones I'm getting rid of I am keeping this but it's a Christmas one so I didn't think it really belonged in the cupboard right now but I know that it's still a little bit of a mess but I just like how that top bit looks now and it's just a little bit more organized so I'm glad that I took that out because we have sort of like four different types of wine glasses and none of us drink wine so it's a bit pointless having that in there but 
I'm really happy with that so far, so now I can carry on with the rest of the kitchen. So once I had the sink nice and shiny, it was time to go in and fill it up with some hot water and sephora just so I can go around and wipe down all of the cupboards and drawers and everything and just disinfect everything. If you've been here before, you know the drill. I just love sephora. It just makes the whole room smell beautiful whilst disinfecting everything. So I'm just going to go around and give everything a good wipe over. So once that was all done, I did want to go in and mop the floor. So I like to go over it with a dustpan and brush first just to pick up any crumbs because sometimes the hoover does bat things around when it's on the hard floor. And before mopping, I just like to make sure there's no crumbs or anything left. So I'm just going to go in, give it a good sweep and mop. So then the kitchen will be completely done and we can move on to other areas. Feel your skin, I will keep on trying to You give me a sign sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more you leave me hanging begging for more think that i'm addicted to this can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause i want you close i'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering you know i do anything to be in your arms again so give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign, baby give me a sign, just give me one more talking to you. So once that was all done, it was time to go ahead and sort this corner out. As you can see, it definitely needs a good dust and a clean, but I also need to declutter it a little bit because I've got sort of like three or four candles on the windowsill that just don't really belong there. So I want to just move everything out, give it a good clean and just declutter it a little bit. I just want to let you know I could go for this, no more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -hmm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby just give me a sign, baby give me a sign, just give me one more talking to you and here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been 
texting me where do we go from here i want to go all in so give me a sign I don't know why I don't go in and do that corner more often because it always feels so good once it's done but I'm now in the front room and as you can see it's not too bad so I'm just going to go around and sort out the cushions and throw blankets and everything and just neaten it up and get it ready for the day. So I do like to have a good shuffle around sometimes and just rearrange some of my decor because I get really bored of it so easily. So I've taken that mirrored tray from the windowsill and I'm just going to have it under the telly. I'm not really sure what to put on it yet but I just wanted to move out the rose gold candles because they've been there for ages and I'm also going to rearrange that little table and the radiator cover as well. I just get so bored looking at the same thing but I'm not going to go out and buy at Lowe's more decor. I just want to swap it all around because I just feel like if you put something in a different space it can just look brand new so I'm just going to rearrange it and see what I can do. So once I had all that done I then wanted to head through into the hallway and sort that out. I'm trying to keep on top of this because obviously it's the first thing you see as you walk in the house and it was looking a little bit worse for wear so I just need to put a few bits away, sort out the shoes and go ahead and give it a good hoover. So 
So I'm now heading back into the bedroom because I completely forgot to make my bed this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort out any laundry that needs doing and also make the bed. I usually try and do this first thing in the morning, but sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. But as long as it's made before I go to bed, then I'm happy. So I'm just gonna sort out all of the washing and see what needs to be put in the washing machine and what can just be folded up and put away and then make the bed and just make it look nice and put together. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you all the motivation that you came looking for today. If it has, then do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you back here in the next one. Wait a second, I don't need you And why so settled, I miss with you Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new here. Today's video is an all day clean with me and I am pretty much going here, there and everywhere to get my house nice and clean and put together ready for the day. So do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and also leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. So I'm starting off in the bedroom today and whenever it's laundry day for the bedding I like to get that done at first thing so I can just forget about it while I'm doing the rest of the house. So the first thing I'm going to do is just strip the bed and get that put in the wash so by the time I've done the rest of the house it'll be dry and ready to be put back on and it just works out perfectly so I'm just going to go ahead and do that first thing. The next thing on my list is always the kitchen. I just love having a clean kitchen. It puts me in such a good mood for the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna whiz round and put everything back where it belongs and just neaten it up, go in and do the washing up and just wipe everything down, disinfect it and make it nice and fresh for the day.
I'm still absolutely loving washing it with this new tap attachment. It's just so fun to use. I am going to have it linked down below if you want to check it out as well. But once I've done all that, it's time to go in and wipe down all the sides. As you can see, a lot of stuff has been spilt all over the hob and there's just food and crumbs and everything all over the side and everywhere. So I just need to go in, wipe all this down and just give it a good clean. So once the sides had all been wiped over, I'm going to go through into the front room and then come back and put the washing up away a little bit later. I'm just going to go ahead and let it air dry. So I'm just going to do all of the blankets and cushions and just get the front room looking a little bit more put together. It's not too bad on this day. And as I'm doing an all day clean, I'm going to go ahead and use the robot vacuum. This thing is so handy, especially when I've got a really busy day ahead of me. It just saves me so much time. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that on just while I finish tidying up in here and head upstairs because that way when I come back downstairs it'll just be nice and hoovered and clean. that's doing its thing downstairs I've come back upstairs to put some bicarb on the mattress because as you can see it's getting a bit discolored in places and uh, I want to just keep on top of it because I love this mattress so I'm just going to sprinkle it on and leave it for an hour whilst I go around at the rest of the house and then I can hoover it up later okay so this is the current situation we had to build Still a bit of hutch because until he is neutered, he is becoming an absolute pain in the bum. <laughs> he just keeps scratching and humping my leg and he honestly won't leave me alone. So we had to build this for overnight and I'm going to decide whether to keep those there. I know that some of you are gonna have the question of does it make the clothes smell having them hung in this room and it honestly doesn't rabbits are really clean and the main thing i was worried about was the clothes smelling of the hay because um the hay and his bedding does actually smell quite a bit but luckily it doesn't actually affect the clothes at all so i don't know how long i'm gonna be hanging them up for or whether i'm just gonna start putting them back in the tumble dryer because obviously I can't iron in here now so I have to dry them all in here and then carry them all downstairs so I don't really know how long I'm going to be doing that for because I'm going to have to carry the ironing board downstairs I think I'll leave it behind the sofa but um yeah it's a bit of a nightmare but he honestly doesn't leave me alone at the moment he's always by my feet either just sitting there or honestly just trying to hump my leg constantly so um, I'm really glad that it's getting neutered on Thursday, but right now I'm trying to just think through this situation. He is going to be in his cage for the next two weeks after he's been neutered just to heal and stuff, but we actually prefer to have him in this at night 
If you saw my previous video, you would have seen that he chewed a huge hole in the carpet downstairs. So it's just nice having him up here at night and we know that he's not being destructive downstairs. So I think this is just gonna stay permanently, but I now need to try and figure out what I'm gonna do with this situation and if I'm gonna continue to hang it or not, or if this room is just gonna become like, a bunny room i really don't know but while i get it all i end he is gonna have to go in his cage so he doesn't attack the wire but look what he's been doing down here he literally just chews everything yes you do but luckily he does like his cage so it's never an issue getting him in and out he honestly just goes straight in um so yeah luckily he likes it which is actually a bit of a shock but go on then is this going to be the one time he doesn't know he goes in? <laughs> but yeah, luckily he really likes it in there. So I know that it's a little bit big. He's definitely, he's definitely a spoiled, <laughs> spoiled rabbit. But after being free roam the whole time, I didn't think it would be very nice to just have him in like a small cage. So we have built it as big as possible and it gets emptied out every day. So it doesn't smell or anything like that. But um, yeah. And I'll need to crack on with all that and just decide whether to continue to hang it or to tumble dry it. I'm really not sure yet. So the one good thing about doing the ironing downstairs is that I do have at the telly to watch because I do get a little bit bored ironing upstairs. So I've got the Gilmore Girls on at the moment and I'm just really enjoying ironing again. I used to really love it and I think it was actually when I was ironing downstairs I enjoyed it because I had other things to do as well. Whereas upstairs I'm literally just stood there ironing for ages and it gets really boring so I'm not sure being distracted whilst ironing is such a good thing especially for me because I am clumsy but it's definitely more enjoyable than doing it upstairs and on this day I had the Gilmore Girls on that's a program that I can just watch over and over again because it's just one of those nice happy wholesome programs so let me know down in the comments if you have any programs like that that you can just re-watch time and time again. So once I had that lot done, I headed back to the bedroom because whenever I do the bedding, I do like to have the bedroom freshly dusted and hoovered and just feeling extra cosy. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe down all of the surfaces with my pledge polish, give it a good hoover and also hoover up all of the bicarb soda and just get it all ready for the bedding to go back on. As long as I got you I was running from myself those days Always breathless search for something safe And then I smashed into that golden face For the first time I don't run away We danced together till we got it by Ups and downs through many days
If you'd like to follow me on a bit more of a daily basis and see what I'm up to when I'm not here on YouTube, then do go ahead and follow me over on Instagram as well. I will have the link down in the description box and I try and post every day over there, especially on my Instagram stories, just a bit more behind the scenes. I post some instant cleaning motivation as well as home decor inspo. So if you do want to be a part of that, just follow the link down in my description box and come and say hello. So the final thing that I need to get done is just finish off the kitchen. So I'm back downstairs. I feel like I've been going up and down the stairs today like a yo-yo. So I'm going to finish off in the kitchen. Just putting all the washing up away that I did earlier and also go in and clean the sink because if you've been here before, you know that the kitchen's not finished unless I have a nice shiny sink. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that now. Thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope that you've enjoyed it and i hope you found all the motivation that you came looking for today go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you clean along with me whilst watching these videos or if you like to just sit back with a cuppa and relax i would absolutely love to know what you guys do and how you enjoy watching them so go ahead and let me know and i will see you back here in the next one Hello guys, welcome back to another Extreme Clean With Me or welcome if you are brand new. Today's video is a big one. I'm going through my entire house, giving it a good clean and a good organize. So do go ahead and subscribe if you like that sort of thing and also leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. So I'm starting off in the bedroom, as you can see it's just a complete mess, it's always my side that actually gets the worst and Rob's isn't too bad but it definitely could do with a bit of a tidy. But I also got dark brown hair dye all over the bedding so the bedding needs stripping and being put in the wash I've got it on the white bed sheet as well and I'm just really hoping that it comes out so I'm just going to whiz around and sort all the washing out and then go ahead and strip the bed.
Traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. done i'm gonna come in and sign out the bathroom i've still got the box of hair dyes there and i've just got hair dye everywhere in here it's just all over the sink all over the shelf and it's just a complete mess so i'm gonna empty it all out and give it a good wipe over i met him on a sunny day in late july and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know Then tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go have to do with it but it's not easy so tell me how to let go because you really seem to know how to carry on on your own ever since i got a good look in his eyes i just knew that he was special he said he wanted to take it slow but i couldn't help that i wanted to take it to the next level because i wanted that great love like standing in the middle of a but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know Then tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things And I have to do with it But it's not easy So tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know How to carry so this bath is definitely in need of a good clean look how gross that is and around the taps as well it's really bad so i'm gonna go in with my mix of white vinegar spray and washing up liquid just spray it all over and let it sit i am going to give it a bit of a scrub with the mop as well just to get the worst of it off and then i can come back up a little bit later and just rinse it all off Met him on a sunny day in late july and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get him off my mind.
all done. I'm just gonna let everything sit and soak and just do its magic while I go and do the ensuite as well. But look how messy it is out here. This is always what it looks like. I just tend to move things from one space to another when I'm filming and then I just sort it all out afterwards. But going through into the ensuite and it is just an absolute mess. It's so gross. Everything has just been spilled everywhere. And I've just got jewelry mixed in with Rob's beard and it's just an absolute state. So I'm gonna go in and sort all of this out and get it nice and clean. Hey, would you have it stay right here? Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Little in the picture, son. Put your rose colored glasses on. Love strong, just like a love song, baby. It's haunting me. Don't know what you're thinking. It's like I'm sinking deep underwater. Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me. Oh, harder for me. Maybe we're over it. I'm maybe just so tired right now. I didn't actually realize how much you did doing, but I'm gonna go through and rinse off the main bathroom and then come back and rinse off the ensuite shower. But the first thing I wanna do is just get everything put back where it belongs. I'm gonna switch the camera around so you can see how messy it is. But this is what it looks like every single time I do any of the bathrooms. You never really see what goes on behind the camera. So I'm gonna show you just how messy everything is and what I've actually got to work with. So this is what's actually going on behind the camera and it just goes all the way through into the other bathroom as well. So I've definitely got a lot of work to do. I need to get everything put back, rinsed off and just get the bathrooms completely finished so I can then start dusting and hoovering up here before we head downstairs. Yeah, I want your body, body, your body too. Yeah, body too. Will you be my ride or die? I'll run all 
these people will try to be someone better than you and I. Posing for pictures, but nobody listens to anything that you have to say. Can we just leave and walk away? Walk away, walk away. Maybe you won't see me get emotional. And sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all. But I want you lying next to me. Yeah, I want your body, body, body too. Yeah, body too. your body, body, your body too, yeah, body too. much better when everything's been put away and I can finally see the floor again but I do need to go in and give this a good dust over because as you can see it's so bad I don't know how it gets this dusty so quickly but I'm just going to go in and dust down all of the surfaces and everything and give it a good hoover and just get it looking a lot more fresh because I mean it's just disgusting <laughs> Everything is smelling super fresh up here. I absolutely love that pledge um, polish. It just smells gorgeous. But I'm just going to go in and do the hoovering. And I have emptied out the hoover because I wanted to show you how much crap actually gets on the carpet. It's just full of dust and stuff and just hair. And I don't even know what else. But I'm going to go around and hoover all in the bedroom and out on the landing as well. And I'm just going to show you once I've finished how full this actually gets. back at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you 
look how much it's picked up just from doing the bedroom all i did was um this bit around here and then also that square there and it's just picked up so much stuff so obviously i need to do it more often because i'm not doing it often enough if it's picking that up all the time but i'm just amazed at how much stuff actually gets collected on the carpet like it's so gross to think i'm actually walking on that every day with bare feet and it looks like that but now everything up here is nice and fresh i'm gonna stop for lunch and start again downstairs we were like fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned so it's now a little while later so i'm back in the kitchen and i just need to get all of this put away wipe down the sides and i'm also going to be sorting out the fridge today because it's just looking well a little worse for wear i need to sort out all of the cheeses and all of the fruit along the top and just give it a good clear out get rid of all of this because that just needs to go in the bin and yeah i need to just organize it a little bit better so the first thing i want to get done is just decluttering the sink because you know how i feel about that if you've been here before i like to have a nice decluttered sink so i'm going to start off with that then do the sides and all of the cupboards and everything and then start on the fridge Just living off the edge Only good times ahead So let me put a smile upon your face Baby, make your worries go away So put your trust in
tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do I'd I spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight When you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play Having a clean kitchen is just one of my favourite things. It puts me in such a good mood, but I do need to go and stick the bedding back on the bed. Everything's taking a little bit longer than I did originally plan. So I am going to come back and do the fridge after I've done the bedding. And then we need to come through and also sort out all of this mess and just rubbish and Cinnabon's toys and just clothes that needs to be put away and just everything it's just it's all going on so i'm gonna head upstairs finish the bedroom first because the tumble dryer is done now and i don't want it to get really creased and then we can come back and sort this out a little bit later Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. I'm still completely in love with this spray. It's the Fabulosa Gold Touch and it just gets rid of all the creases out of your bedding or clothes or anything. And honestly, I use it mainly for the smell. It's so gorgeous. I can't really put my finger on what the smell is. I don't know if it's actually got it on here. I don't know, but it just smells clean and it's just not a smell i've ever smelt before so i don't really know how to explain it but if you haven't tried it yet i definitely recommend you pick it up and give it a go but now i've got all the room smelling it gorgeous and fresh and the bedding's have finally been put back on because you know this is one of my least favorite jobs to do because it honestly just takes out on me so much but now this is done i can head back downstairs and i've just been thinking about what i want to do with this area obviously i need to get some more 
um pillows oh i'm out of breath but we need to get some more pillows that actually go with the super king bed because we've just got the standard pillows but i'm thinking of getting the shelves that are in the laundry room getting the same white ones here just to have some more plants on it and i don't think i'm going to have anything on the walls just because i'm so indecisive i know that i'm going to mark the wall and then a month later I'll probably change my mind so I think the only thing I need to do in here is find some proper pillows that fit. So if anyone knows where I could get some decent super king or king size up pillows, let me know down in the comments because I've been searching for some decent pillows for ages that will actually fit the bed and I just can't find any. So please do let me know if you know where I could get some decent ones. But right now I need to go and finish off the fridge and hopefully this will all dry because i do put so much on that eventually as soon as you pull the quilt all the creases just sort of pull out of it so i'm gonna just let all that dry and soak in and hopefully i'll come up later to a crease free bedroom but it smells good it looks good and now i can carry on downstairs
kitchen completely done. I finally finished it. I am just gonna let those few bits there air dry because I've already cleaned the sink today so I'm not in a rush to declutter it. It can just stay and air dry. But I'm just really glad that I finally sorted out the fridge. It was mainly for these containers because I just feel like it's so much easier to just grab and go when it's all sort of organized like that. So really glad that I got that sorted. And the final room that I need to do is this front room because as you can see it's just looking very disheveled so i'm just going to pick up cinnabon's toys put everything back where it belongs go in and give it a good hoover and a dust and just get it nice and cozy Change my mind, 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 mind. Maybe we got time, 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 time to make this right, 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 right. Can I be the one that you need? Maybe if I change the way I love it. I've had so much fun hanging out with you guys today and I really hope that you found all the motivation that you came looking for. If you did, then do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads and I will see you back here in the next one. If I change the way I love Party downtown, someone said that you're coming by Let me know when you're here, meet me up for a smoke outside Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new here. Today's video is full of deep cleaner motivation as well as some everyday cleaner motivation to help you tackle your to-do list today and clean it right along with me. So do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up if you like that type of video and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads and let's just jump straight into it. Okay. You always So the first thing that I wanted to start off with was just giving my hallway a bit of a deeper clean. It's been a little while since I've given it a good scrub. So I'm just going to go in with some hot water and some flora, wipe down all of the doors and the skirting boards and everything and just get it nice and fresh because I never realised how bad this area actually needs doing until I start doing it. But it was really bad. It's really gross. So I'm just going to go in, give it a good scrub over and make it nice and fresh.
So I didn't actually realise how much these picture frames needed a good pipe over but then I realised it's probably been a good few months since I last did it and look how much it builds up, it's just insane but I'm glad that I gave them a good pipe over but when it came to pulling out this little shoe rack I found a ton of wood lice behind there and I've been finding loads in the kitchen as well and I'm not really sure where they're coming from or why we suddenly have loads of wood lice so if you do know why or how to get rid of them please do let me know down in the comments because I have no idea we've not had this problem before so I'm just going to go ahead and hoover those up for now and just go in and finish off the skirting board getting rid of all of the dust and cobwebs and everything and then we can move through into the front room So next on my list is just to sort out the back door because everything gets just dumped here. We've got lots of wood to stop Cinnabon chewing the carpet and all of his toys and everything it just go in that corner. So literally everything just gets dumped and because we're in and out all the time we do bring a lot of dirt and everything in from the garden. So I'm just going to clear everything out, give it a good hoover and go in and clean those doors as well. So this was definitely an out of sight, out of mind situation because the second I pulled that rug back and saw the hole in the carpet, I was so shocked, even though that's the only reason we have the rug there is to cover up that hole. But the minute I saw it, I sort of remembered why it was there in the first place. But that's the, definitely the type of person I am. If I don't see it for a while, I completely forget about it. But I'm just going to go in with the Method Glass Spray and spray over all the windows, getting rid of all of the fingerprints and smudges and everything and just make it nice and fresh. Sun's coming up like the day before 
You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go in for a rest. Your favorite music on all the way baritone. I'm always amazed at how fresh and different the front room feels as soon as I've done the doors and the skirting boards and it's something that I don't really think is going to make such a big difference because you don't notice how dirty they are until they've been cleaned but this room is definitely smelling and feeling 10 times fresher than when I started so I'm really glad that I got to that today but now I've got the ironing to do and because of Cinnabon's um, big cage upstairs I'm still doing the ironing downstairs so I've just bought it all down I stuck the telly on and I'm just going to crack on with this because you know how long ironing actually takes me to do so I just want to get all of this out the way and then we can carry on cleaning in the kitchen.
falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. We're falling, falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot of freakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. So once that was all done, I could head through into the kitchen and as you can see, it's not too bad. I just need to put all of the washing up away from the night before and wipe down the sides with my flash kitchen spray and also go in and do the sink because if you've been here before, you know that I love doing the sink. It's one of my favourite things and I don't feel like the kitchen is ever finished unless the sink is nice and clean. So I do like to have a nice decluttered, clean kitchen. So I'm just going to go ahead and put everything away and just get it nice and sorted. Save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of freakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega I'm going to go in and do the sink with my washing up liquid and just give it a good scrub over. I never normally just use washing up liquid but I've seen so many people do it this way I thought I would give it a go and it actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. So on days where my sink really isn't too bad but it just needs to be a little bit fresher I am going to just use the washing up liquid so I don't go through my sieve cream so quickly and then I'm going to save the sieve and the white vinegar for days when it's really bad and it could really do with a good deep clean but as today wasn't too bad i just wanted it to be nice and fresh i'm just going to go in and give it a scrub over with my washing up liquid and then give it all a good rinse over Seem to have the time, but when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Once that was done, I've just got a few towels to get folded before we can head upstairs because I've still got the bedroom to sort out. I've remembered that I didn't make my bed this morning. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold these few bits up. I've just got a couple of towels, a few tea towels and just my hair dyeing stuff, my hair dyeing outfit and my hair dyeing towel. So I'm just going to get all of that put away so we can then head upstairs, make the beds and just get the bedroom nice and cosy ready for this evening.
thank you so much for watching today's video i've had so much fun hanging out with you guys today and i really hope you found all the motivation that you came looking for if you did then do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up because it really does help me out when you do that and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i will see you back here in the next one